In Kubernetes, trust boundaries define the security perimeter around cluster components and data flow. These boundaries are critical for isolating resources and protecting sensitive data. For instance, a pod's communication with the API server, encapsulated within the cluster's network, illustrates internal trust boundaries, while ingress and egress controllers manage data flow across external boundaries. Understanding these boundaries is essential for securing data as it moves through the cluster. Persistence in Kubernetes deals with how data is stored and managed beyond the lifecycle of individual pods. A real-world challenge is ensuring data integrity and availability when using persistent volumes in stateful applications, such as databases. Properly configuring and securing persistent storage solutions, like dynamically provisioned volumes with access controls, mitigates risks of data loss or unauthorized access. Denial of service attacks in Kubernetes aim to overwhelm resources, rendering services unavailable. For example, an attacker might exploit unthrottled resource limits to exhaust compute resources. Implementing resource quotas and limits, alongside monitoring and anomaly detection, can help prevent such attacks, ensuring availability and resilience of cluster services. Malicious code execution in containers can lead to compromised applications and data breaches. An attacker could exploit a vulnerability in an application to run arbitrary code. Employing container scanning tools to detect vulnerabilities, practicing the principle of least privilege, and using immutable container images can significantly reduce the risk of malicious code execution. Attackers on the network pose a threat to Kubernetes clusters by intercepting or manipulating data. An example threat is man-in-the-middle MITM attacks, which compromise data in transit. Encrypting network traffic using TLS, implementing network policies to control pod communication, and using service meshes can protect against such network-level threats. Access to sensitive data must be carefully controlled within Kubernetes. An example vulnerability is inadequate role-based access controls, RBAC, leading to unauthorized data access. Using Kubernetes secrets for sensitive data storage, encrypting data at rest and in transit, and implementing strict RBAC policies ensure that sensitive information is accessible only to authorized users. Privilege escalation involves exploiting vulnerabilities to gain unauthorized access or capabilities within a cluster. For instance, an attacker might exploit a misconfigured pod to gain root access to the host. To mitigate this, ensure pods run with minimal privileges, utilize security context to restrict pod capabilities, and regularly audit cluster configurations to prevent such escalation opportunities.